Next we will see about forward conduction mode. So as the name implies, forward conduction means we will be giving forward bias. And as it is conduction mode, SCR will be in on state. So we are giving forward bias across anode and cathode. So here it is positive and here it is negative. So as we have discussed before, same as in forward blocking mode, here also J1 and J3 junction will be forward biased and J2 junction breakdown will happen. So as I discussed, here it is positive. So holes will be getting rippled towards this N region and it will attract the electrons from the N region. J1 is forward biased. Same way, here it is negative. So electrons will be moving towards this J3 junction. It will attract the holes from this P region and J3 will be forward biased. That means your J1 and J3 junction is in forward biased condition. And here we are applying high voltage. For example, we are applying around 350 volt. High voltage is applied across anode and cathode. So when we are applying high voltage across anode and cathode, breakdown will happen in J2 junction. Reverse breakdown will be happening in J2 junction and reverse current will start flowing through the J2 junction. So J2 it is reverse biased but reverse breakdown is happening and because of this reverse breakdown reverse current will be flowing through J2 junction and because of this reverse current your SCR will start conducting before J2 was in the blocking state now reverse current is flowing and J2 is in the conduction mode and SCR will be conducting from anode to cathode current flow will be there so as we told before SCR is in the on state that is your forward conduction mode so starting it was forward blocking in forward blocking forward bias we are giving but SCR was in the off state but in the case of forward conduction mode we are giving a high voltage across anode and cathode as a result of high voltage breakdown is happening in J2 junction reverse breakdown is happening and current is flowing through anode and cathode so it is in the on state so next we will be dealing with reverse blocking mode okay so what will happen in reverse blocking mode 